want to come to Professor Weber and get a sense from you, Professor Weber, uh, if you could just share the ways in which uh, the, the, the University of the West Indies, Mona, has sought to engage this blue ocean paradigm. Good afternoon to you all, and thank you for the opportunity to share. So this blue ocean paradigm is, apart from being a marine scientist, it is something that meets you <laughs> in a whole new place. The concept asks you to think outside of the box. And I'll start by telling you that, having been a principal for all of six months, <laughs> you realize very quickly that you've gone outside of your box. <laughs> I will agree with Fritz first off. You think, well, I thought I was going to be heading an institution, the largest and oldest tertiary institution, and I was going to be making academic decisions. I have not made one academic decision in my six months, and I don't see any down the line either. <laughs> You're a CEO of a large company. So immediately you need to start making that shift. And we have been applying it in a number of ways. For instance, We've already accepted that there are many things that the University of the West Indies has and has done. But there are many things that we need to move away from. I'll give you, for instance, our School of Education. We've taken the bold decision that at the undergraduate level, the University of the West Indies would be better served sharing all it knows with all the teachers' colleges, walking away from the undergraduate delivery and blue oceaning into higher degrees. So you take one component, and you say, where can I go for my, my niche separation? What can I do better? There are those who are doing it as well. How can I support them? I mean, Northern Caribbean is an entity that we work with, UTEC, and we're trying to say, well, if we can get you to a place where you're better at what you're doing, then we will work with a higher degree. So our separation, our niche separation right now is graduate studies and research. So taking that step is one bold, global step. <laughs> Another is the research. So if you want to be different, you have to look different. So you take the research that you do, but pure research, wonderful. That's foundation. Everybody needs pure research, because that's how you get the base from which you take off. But applied research, that's how you make the difference. But who are you making the applied research for? So we have now engaged public and private sector. We want to know the question. If you ask yourself the old questions, you already have the answers before you start. You need to know what questions are out there so you can formulate the research to answer those questions. So again, we've made that blue ocean shift to find out, go there at risk and say, what questions do you have? And I will tell you, some of the questions that have come up, we've gone, um, we need to go work on that one because we have no clue where to start. But some of them, we already have the answers because you realize you were already doing some of the right things. You now need to channel it in a certain direction. And the third one I'll give you is our customer service. So one thing I will tell you, and I, I mean, we're live and we're all over the world, University of West Indies is not known for its customer service. <laughs> all right, and I, I'm just putting that out there. We've gone blue ocean to change that. So we're starting in a process of all our staff going through systematically what we call radical collaboration. Where we're trying to say, who are the clients? The clients are the students. The clients are the parents. The clients are some of the staff, you know, who go to the bursary and can't get a check. So we have to look at all the clientele that we have and how do we meet them where they are. We need to figure out how can we do things better? How can we take the pain? I mean, I, went, I, stood, I stood the other day and watched a line coming out of the bursary. And I'm saying, I shouldn't, you shouldn't have to go through that much pain for me to take your money from you. So. We're looking at the pain points and the <laughs> And we want more of your money, you know. <laughs> Life too long. <laughs> but it feeds into our strategic plan where we're looking at innovation and entrepreneurship as the way forward. And we think we have the perfect platform to do that. We went into the Western Jamaica campus and we went there kind of a, as a knee-jerk response. We are now redesigning the University of the West Indies Western Jamaica platform completely in the blue ocean thought. 
We want to know what does Western Jamaica need so that we can redesign that campus completely, the offerings to meet them where they are. It's, it's going to be online. It's going to be a specific program. It's, it's rather than trying to replicate what we do somewhere where we have a 650 acre, down there we have a small footprint. We need to determine what is the niche that we need to provide. So we're doing that in collaboration with the community there so that we can better provide for it. So we're into it. But what I will tell you is, being the largest and the oldest, this ship takes a long time to turn. <laughs> Thank you.